Taylor, uh, obviously, uh, obvious question here, but how, how disappointing is this? Yeah, um, <laughs> it sucks, man. You know, we practiced the, the intensity in practice this week. Um, everyone seems so locked in and focused. You just really don't want it to go like that. Um, you, can't, you can't believe it's over, you know? Um, it just, it just sucks, you know. Turnovers obviously were a big part of today. Um, yeah, you know that's that's how it goes, man. When when we take care of the ball, when the Titans take care of the ball, and the defense plays the way they did today, we win. And um, you know I've said this before, it takes all 11 guys when it comes to turnovers. It um, yeah, it just it just sucks, man. Team really seems so our theme seems to be the plan was good, execution was poor. How do you guys come out having paved this path two games from the Super Bowl and execute it? Yeah, just, we just didn't execute it. I mean, I think the game plan was good. Uh, we ran the ball well. Um, I thought the boys protected well. It just, you know, something, they play football too, they're paid also, and you know, it's unacceptable. This is, this one hurts real bad. Two years, home games. Go home after one. Kind of feels like a, a trend of a, a concern to me. Uh, I, every year is a new year. I don't think that's um, worth becoming a thing. You know, I think that's a bit of a reach. Um, I think the trend should continue to try to keep home playoff games. And um, you know, Rabel and John, um, they do an amazing job. And um, they'll make sure we, we get over that trend, as you put it. The final drive before the interception, you guys had a ball with a chance to go down and get the field goal to win it. It didn't seem like there was a lot of urgency. It seemed like you guys were working the ball. Yeah, it's a time management thing. When you, have, when you we get the ball, I think 235, you know, uh, we had two timeouts plus a two minute warning on you know the 20 yard line. That's in a lot of ways you're in regular ball. And so it's kind of, it, it's a situation of time management and making sure we had the last snap. And, um, you know, it's, it just, it was a good game plan. That, that's a very well strong suit. That's the reason why he's coach of the year is having those types of um, game plans that, you know, they're very potent offense and they do a great job. And, you know, us having the ball in our hands for the last snap was the plan. And, um, you know, I don't know what happened on the interception. I think it got tipped, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it just that's tough, man. That's just it's a hard pill to swallow. And I will say that the Tennessee Titans fans, man, they were unbelievable tonight. It's the last I've ever heard it in the stadium. Um, it's the most electric I've ever heard it. And they deserve they deserve to win. They played a huge part in that game of how dominant our defense was. And our offense. Um, just couldn't get it going. Did, did, did you feel like things were kind of lining up for you guys going into this? You're as healthy as you've been all year. Yeah. Yeah. Even during the game, after the first play on offense, I, I don't think there was never a point in my mind, at least, that we were going to lose this game. It was, you know, we're here, we're doing it. You know, it's it wasn't clean, but how many dirty wins have you seen from us before? You know, and you, know, you have to give them credit. <clears throat> They played a phenomenal game. They, they stacked that box and played 6-1 defense. They were playing goal line in the middle of the field. And we, we ran a couple plays where just wasn't enough guys to block their guys on the front side or back side. It was, they, they did a good job. Um, you know, I thought, I thought uh, we had momentum and we were great from the 25 to the 25. And um, just when you get stalled out in the red zone or in the fringe area, that's what happens. You, you lose games, we need to make those sevens, those three sevens. Given all the adversity that you guys overcame, and then all the talent on this roster, like how much tougher does that make the season ending like this? Yeah, that's tough, man. Um, there's a lot of talent on this roster, and um, there's a lot of adversity this season that this team worked through. And um, yeah, it's just, that's hard. But um, there's not a lot, a whole lot you can say to make things better. We, we got, there's no more games. It's over, and uh, you just wish we found a way to we found a way to win that game, man. We had we had the we had it, and um, we just didn't we just didn't take care of the ball the way we should have. Still, do you think we're back next year? Yeah, I don't think that's in, that's in question. I think um, 
I think everyone knows, like, they, I will say this has been a, a year of adversity for me and not my best year by any means, but um, I think it's pretty obvious that that first year, unless you're Adrian Peterson, is um, it's tough coming back. And, you know, I didn't have a full off season to train. I was really focusing on my knee and uh, my conditioning wasn't as good. My strength wasn't as good. My power wasn't as good. There was a lot of things that weren't up to my standard. And then uh, with with knee comes other injuries like a back and it's just how the anatomy works. And so I have, I have no doubt uh, that I'll be back next year, I think. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll be back to myself. I have no, no doubt about that. But the last question. Hey, what is the finality like? And you know this team's not going to be the same next year. Is it almost a shock to the system that it is over and you guys are going Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's super shocking. I think none of us expected this. I don't think any of you guys expected this. Um, and even during the week, like the intensity in practice, you would have thought it was like week one. Everyone seems so fresh and so ready to go. And I just, you know. In those games, man, you just have to give credit to the team that won. They they won, and you know August is a long way away. So hopefully, you know, we bring back as many guys as possible. John and Rabel, they know what's best for this team, and they're going to do that. And uh, I'm uh, I'm excited to see how it all unfolds.